Hello my soccer universe, I have all my Puma shirts out, put Austria full Puma jackets on and yes I received today the parcel from Classic Football Shirts from the latest 20th birthday sale, 20% uh, off, no not 20th birthday, from the birthday sale which meant 20% off and to be honest I had a really hard time picking but there was one shirt that I really really wanted to have, it is a Puma shirt, it's a national team shirt so um <laughs> you can already take a wild guess where it's also related a little bit to this austria shirt as well so i would say let's open it up and i think for once i want to do it like <laughs> then from club football shirt and just tear it open now there may be the small the small chance of having the golden ticket which i really doubt is in there but let's see what we have what do we have in here First off, another uh, Francesco Totti. Uh, I sent one away, but you know, now I have a second one. So, uh, a third one actually. Then we have, of course, their cards. I honestly have to say, I don't like them. What is this? Vintage American sportswear. Yeah, I've tried that. That one, honestly, the prices are not that great. I actually like American sports shirts as well, but I have been focusing so much on my soccer shirts as of late that, yeah. Let's take the other stuff out too. I have here. Here a small envelope. No, this is not the golden ticket, but I want to. Sh I will show you that as well. There's a little add-on that I got. So much work for just one measly patch. Premier League champions 1920. So I will add that to the Liverpool shirt that I got. Uh, so bought that. So we have. One patch more, I add it to the pile of patches and then we'll see where it goes. And then here is the shirt, which should be brand new with tags from a Puma team that has qualified for the World Cup. And honestly, that shirt, <laughs> at first, um, I didn't really like it, but the more I saw it, I really li li like it, then it became almost a must have item. And I'll show you the back side of it. On the front side you can already take a guess and let's open it up there will be loads of paper as usual again this is the paper that you can use uh, to apply those patches and so on so paper one away paper two away paper three away and paper four away. I think that's all now. There's still a little paper in there to protect the patches. We have all the tags are on. National team jersey. And we are of course talking. It's the one national team of Puma that I have that is missing up here. Serbia. The away jersey where they won against Portugal away from home to secure their ticket in uh, Qatar uh, coming up this uh, fall. I argue, while it was not deserved, Portugal did not deserve to lose, I argue they would not have made it if they wouldn't have won that particular game, but they always remember the game in Serbia. That's number one. Number two, I didn't understand why we have, and I mean the pants would be, even though they have exactly this pattern, while I do like the pattern because it's related to the uh, coat of arms of Serbia the pants are full with this pattern I didn't initially understand it but I have to say the more I saw it the more I liked it and then they lost against Scotland to qualify for other euros in this one yeah I hope it was getting cheaper and at one point it was really cheap where I could have gotten it I think for about 30 and I missed on that now I bought it I think it was 40 euros overall and I think I'm very happy to have that one gotta say I mean the logo I, honestly I do like the new one actually quite some the old one it has one big flaw this little thing and the coloring I don't like but I really like the way they made this one although it's a plain white jersey the shoulders um, with the pattern on on the on there and the lime green makes it a really pleasing looking jersey and so i have two serbia jerseys now the first one uh let's pull it out from the rack is of course i bought it last year shortly after they qualified it's the one that they used at the last world cup uh this one is a little bit small but you know 
so be it and then uh, we have this one now I always said I mean I'm uh, how, to, how to say my relation with Serbia was always a little bit an odd one uh, I really like the players that they have uh, but it's also a nation where I think a nationalism runs a little bit too rampant in my way. And now how is this related to, pro, uh, to this Austria shirt? Well, crafted by culture, crafted by culture. So uh, it fits in that sense. And also, you know, there are some historic ties between the two countries. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. In any case, please let, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.